Facebook multi-billionaire Mark Zuckerberg is one of the world's richest people, but he's also on a path to becoming one of its most impactful philanthropists, having already pledged to give away 99% of his family's wealth over his lifetime. He and his wife, Dr. Priscilla Chan, announced the latest initiative tied to that philanthropic effort Wednesday by committing to invest $3 billion over the next decade to build technology intended to speed up research and ultimately eradicate a number of diseases. The Wall Street Journal's Deepa Sita Rotham reports that the first investment by the company's for-profit philanthropic arm, the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, will be $600 million to create a research lab of engineers and scientists based in San Francisco. Quote, this focus on building tools suggests a roadmap for how we might go about curing, preventing, and managing all diseases this century, Mr. Zuckerberg said because we can develop the new tools that allow us to see these categories of disease in new ways, we could empower scientists all over the world to make much faster progress." Unquote. One such tool is a cell atlas, or a map of all the different cell types in the human body and their different states. Currently valued at $46 billion, the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative is one of the world's largest philanthropic efforts. Zuckerberg mentioned a few potential tools that could be built including using machine learning to analyze large databases of cancer genomes or making a chip to diagnose any infectious disease. Throughout history, most scientific breakthroughs are preceded by the invention of new tools that help us see problems in new ways. It's easy to imagine the new tools that we need today to see these diseases in new ways. A lot of them involve technology, like software to map out the brain or analyze genomes. He also referenced developing a map of all the different kinds of cell types in the body and their different states, which could be a quick reference for people who are designing and developing drugs. That said, there are a whole slate of government and philanthropic organizations that have already spent billions to help fight disease, an endeavor that's proven to be difficult. Among them, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the Gates Foundation, Howard Hughes Medical Institute and the Food and Drug Administration, among others. One major question is how much of a difference will the $3 billion investment make? By comparison, the Gates Foundation has already given more than $10 billion to fight disease, while the Howard Hughes Medical Institute has spent more than $8 billion on related research over the past 10 years. As they add their funds to the pot, Zuckerberg and his wife say they've spoken to dozens of top scientists who think it's possible to cure, prevent, or manage diseases by the end of the century.